Hello students, welcome back to video lecture series for the subject Mathematics 3, myself Dr. Anjit Acharya and uh, uh, today we will discuss about uh, our next method of this chapter, regular palsy method, okay. So in this method, here is not important, so just uh, all the student remember this formula, uh, that means this is the formula for first approximation, that means uh, x2, uh, definitely uh, f of x0 suppose greater than 0 and f of x1 suppose less than 0 then your root lies between x0 and x1 clear uh, just we start from uh, uh, in bisection method okay now your root lies between x0 and x1 so what is your x2 for x2 you have to apply this formula okay x2 is x0 minus x1 minus x0 upon f of x1 minus f of x0 into f of x0 clear now, if f of x0 and f of x2 are opposite sign, okay, that means suppose f of x0 greater than 0, then f of and f of x2 less than 0. So, your root lies between x0 and x2. So, your next approximation x3 is this, okay, x0 minus x2 minus x0 because your uh, root lies between x0 and x2, uh, right hand side you have x0 and x2. So, x0 minus x2 minus x0 upon f of x2 minus f of x0 into f of x0. Suppose your root lies between x1 and x2, then your next approximation is x3 is obtained x2 minus x1 minus x0, uh, x1 minus x2 upon f of x1 minus f of x2 into f of x2. Okay. So this process is repeated till the root is obtained to the desired accuracy and this iteration process is known as the method of false position method or sometimes regular falsy method okay regular falsy method or false position method the both the names are same so please uh, remember this formula uh, suppose your root lies between x0 and x1 so that means f of x1 f of x0 greater than 0 f of x1 less than 0 then x2 you can find this method okay so let's try to solve one example find the real root of the equation x into log x okay base 10 don't forget base 10 so in your calculator suppose you want to apply log x base 10 then you have to apply uh, log okay because in your calculator there are uh, two uh, uh, log and ln both log for base 10 and ln for base e okay uh, so, x log x base 10 that is equal to 1.2 by the regular falsy method. So, clearly f of x is what? x log x base 10 minus 1.2. Now, first of all, we, we have to find x0 and x1. So, that means f of 2. Uh, f of 2 is a negative value and f of 3 is positive value. Okay. You can uh, easily calculate the value of f of 2 and f of 3 using your calculator. Okay. So, that means uh, 2 into log 2 base 10 minus 1.2. So that you will get minus 0 0.5979 and f of 3 you will get 0 0.2314. So uh, your root lies between f of uh, 2 and 3. Okay. So the next approximation x2 that is x0 minus x1 minus x0 upon f of x1 minus f of x0 into f of x0. Instead of x0 you have to take uh, 2 and instead of x1 you have to take 3. So 2 minus 3 minus 2 upon 0 0.23. 4 plus uh, 0 0.5979 uh, sorry 0 0.2314 plus 0.5979 into point minus 0 0.5979 okay put all this value because you have all this value that f of uh, f of 2 you have f of 3 you have okay so you will get 2.721 now find f of x2 so f of x2 you will get positive value right so f of 2.721 7 sorry f of x2 you will get negative value okay this is negative value and f of 3 is positive so now your root lies between 2.721 and 3 okay so your, your root lies between x2 and x1 so that's why x3 that is equal to x2 minus x1 minus x2 upon f of x2 minus f of x2 
एफ ऑफ एक्स वन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स टू इन टू एफ ऑफ एक्स टू ओके सो टू पॉइंट सेवन टू वन माइनस थ्री माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन टू वन ओके एंड इन डिनोमिनेटर पॉइंट टू थ्री वन फोर प्लस पॉइंट जीरो वन सेवन वन पॉइंट जीरो वन सेवन वन सो फाइनल आंसर इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फोर जीरो टू इयर यू कैन सी दैट एक्स टू इज टू पॉइंट सेवन टू वन दिस इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फोर जीरो टू अगेन फाइंड आउट एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री सो अगेन एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री इज लेस देन जीरो सो योर रूट लाइज बिटवीन टू पॉइंट सेवन फोर जीरो टू एंड थ्री ओके सो एक्स फोर इज एक्स वन माइनस एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स वन अपॉन एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स वन इन टू एफ ऑफ एक्स फोर ओके सो द आंसर इज थ्री माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन जीरो फोर टू माइनस थ्री अपॉन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 फोर माइनस पॉइंट टू थ्री वन फोर इन टू पॉइंट टू थ्री वन फोर सो द फाइनल आंसर इज टू पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन फोर जीरो सिक्स ओके सो द एप्रोक्सीमेट रूट सो इन रेगुलर पॉलिसी मेथड यू कैन यू कैन रीच योर आंसर विद इन थ्री टू फोर प्रोसेस ओके कंपेयर टू बाय सेक्शन मेथड बिकॉज इन बाय सेक्शन मेथड Uh, you have to take uh, almost eight to ten approximation, okay? In almost every example, seven to ten approximation. But in here, in regular policy method, maximum approximation is four to five, okay? So this is quite you can say that updated version, okay? Uh, next is a Newton-Raphson method, most important method, Newton-Raphson method. So let f of x is equal to zero be the given equation. X zero be the approximate root of the equation. Okay. For Newton-Raphson method, uh, we need only first approximation, only one approximation, x zero. Let x one is equal to x zero plus h be the x z root. Okay. So that means f of x one is equal to zero. So f of x zero plus h is equal to zero, and using Taylor series, you will get. f of x zero plus h f dash x zero plus h square by two factorial f double dash x zero. And because of h is very small, so neglecting h square and higher power of h. So only we are considering this two term, f of x zero plus h f dash x zero that is equal to zero. So what is your h? H is what when you uh, find out the value of h from this equation. So h is nothing but f of x zero. Sorry, minus f of x zero upon f dash x zero. Put this value of h in this equation because x one is what x one is x zero plus h. So x1 is x0 plus h. So x0 minus f of x0 upon f plus x0. Okay. So you will get this answer x1. X1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f plus x0. And x2. Similarly, starting with uh, x1 is uh, still better approximation. X2 is obtained. X2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f plus x1. And in general, x1 plus 1. That is equal to x n minus f of x n upon f plus x n. Okay, this equation is known as Newton-Raphson formula or Newton iteration formula. The theory is not important, but it's very easy. So you can easily understand uh, for Newton-Raphson method. Okay, again f of x is equal to zero with a given equation x zero be a approximate root and x one is x z root. So we can say x1 is equal to x0 plus h, where h is very small, either negative or positive, that we don't know. So f of x0 plus h is equal to zero, and using Taylor series, we can easily find the value of h. So put that value here. So x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f plus x0, and uh, similarly you can uh, approximate x2, x3, and so on. Okay. So x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f plus x1, and in general. This is a formula that x n plus one that is equal to x n. Uh, sorry, x n uh, x n minus f of x n upon f plus x n. Okay, so this equation is known as Newton-Raphson formula. So let's try to solve one example. Find the root of the equation x cube plus x minus one equal to zero. Correct up to four decimal places uh, using Newton-Raphson method. Okay. Most probably they mention the name of the method, Newton-Raphson method. So just uh, mention that uh, name of the method is given. Okay. So f of x is equal to x cube plus x minus one. Uh, f of zero that is equal to minus one because for Newton-Raphson method we need only one approximation that is x zero. Okay. So So we know that the root lies between zero and one. So uh, f of zero is less than zero and f of one is greater than zero. So the root lies between zero and one. So you can also start with the average of zero and one. So that is point five. Okay. 
or you can also start with one or zero okay so here they start with one okay x zero is not fixed you can take any value okay because your root lies between zero and one so you can also take x zero that is uh, zero plus one divided by two that is 0.5 or you can also take x0 is equal to 1 okay also you can take x0 is equal to 1 here okay so here just we assume that x0 is equal to 1 right so f plus x is what uh, differentiation of this function that is uh, 3x square plus 1 so uh, first of all uh, this is my newton option formula so f of x0 that is uh, f of 1 that is 1 f dash x0 we need f f dash x0 so f dash 1 that is 4 so put all these values so 1 minus 1 by 4 you will get minus uh, you will get 0.75 now f of x1 find f of x1 okay f of x1 is 0.171875 and f dash x1 okay in every step suppose you have find first approximation x1 so now immediately you have to find f of x1 and f dash x1 okay because to find x2 you need f of x1 and f dash x1 clear so next approximation x2 the formula is x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash x1 x1 is 0.75 this is my f of x1 and f dash x1 so put this two value here and all this value you can easily calculate your calci <coughs> sorry so 0.68605 uh, second approximation f of x2 okay f of x2 now find f of x2 and f dash x2 so using f of x2 and f dash x2 you can find f x3 so f of x2 that means uh, uh, this is my function x cube plus x minus 1 okay so instead of uh, x you have to take 0.68605 okay this value okay uh, 0 0.68605 cube plus 0 0.68605 minus 1 so you will get uh, 0 0.00894 f dash x2 you will get okay and uh, x3 the value of x3 that is x2 minus f of x2 upon f dash x2 so the final answer is point almost you can see that the value of x2 and the value of x3 almost same 0 0.68605 0 0.68234 because uh, they mentioned that correct up to four decimal places okay so two decimal places are same here 0 0.68 here 0 0.68 but we need up to four decimal places so that's why again we find f of x3 and f dash x3 okay uh, and uh, using f of x3 and f dash x3 you can find x4 x4 is what x3 minus f of x3 upon f dash x3 so that is 0 0.68234 minus 0 0.000028 upon 2.39676 and this is my answer 0 0.68233 so since x3 and x4 are same up to four decimal places the root is 0 0.6823 clear up to four decimal places clear okay so in today's session we discuss about the uh, regular falsi method uh, let's take one more example. Uh, find the root, uh, and this is Newton Robson method. So find the root uh, between 0 and 1. Okay, they already mentioned that your root lies between 0 and 1. Okay, uh, for the function e raised to x sin x is equal to 1, correct up to 4 decimal places. So f of x is equal to e raised to x sin x minus 1, f of 0 is minus 1, f of 1 is 1.28. So you can start x0 with 0 also, you can start with 1 also. So f dash x, f dash x, of course, f of x is e raised to x sin x minus 1. So when you find f dash x, you have to uh, use multiplication rule for differentiation. So first differentiation of e raised to x, that is e raised to x sin x as it is plus uh, e raised to x as it is differentiation of uh, sin x, that is cos x okay so e raised to x will be common sin x plus cos x okay sin x plus cos x okay so this is your f plus x so xn plus 1 we know that xn plus 1 is xn minus f of xn upon f plus xn so f of x0 uh, of course f of x0 that is f of 0 is minus 1 f plus 0 is 1 that you can find so x1 
x1 is x0 minus f of x0 upon f plus x0 so that you will get 1 okay f of x1 now find f of x1 and f plus x1 okay because you have f of x and f plus x both so f of x1 that is 1.2874 f plus x1 that is 3.7560 and using f of x1 and f plus x1 you can find x2 that is x1 minus f of x1 upon f plus x1 so 1 minus 1.2874 upon 3.7560 so you will get 0.6572 okay f of x2 is 0.1787 okay uh, similarly you can find f plus x2 and using f plus x2 you can find x3 okay so that is uh, 0.5912 okay and uh, you can see that up to uh, you find f of x3 f plus x3 after that you can find x4 okay uh, see the answer is 0.5885 here 0.5912 x3 so still uh, we have to continue this process so finally you will get x5 is 0.5885 so x4 and x5 are same so we can say that uh, our approximate root of this equation using the uh, newton hobson method is 0.5885 okay so in this method uh, in this lecture we discuss about regular falsi method and uh, newton hobson method so thank you